Hey YouTube, this is Stereo M back again with more hair stuff. And today I'm gonna do a hair how to. I don't even know how long it's been since I've done this. That's why I said when I did my hair to update, but um I'm pretty sure I've done an update. Well, maybe I did a style closer. I don't know, but whatever. I'm doing a style. As you guys can see, my hair is obviously different. Um once again, uh, I'll just tell you a little bit about my hair. So I have still been um, interlocking it. Um, I have not interlocked since March, I think, because I don't believe that I only had this much new growth and I have interlocked since January. So I'm pretty sure I interlocked in March and I have not interlocked since then. Probably be interlocking very soon. I'm going home very soon. Um, I have been washing it with a mixture of water, Dr. Bronner's, and castor oil. Um, I just put it in a spray bottle and I spray it on my hair. Um, and then I had some other shampoos that I kind of was just using just to get rid of them. And I think I have like one more bottle left and then I'm probably not going to buy anything like that um, anymore. Uh, I also plan on doing a vinegar rinse when I get home. So I'll probably do vinegar rinse and then... Um, well, I might not because since I dyed my hair, I don't want it to mess up my dye, but we'll see. Um, like I just said, I dyed my hair um, about, what was it, last Saturday? Yeah, last last Saturday or, yeah, last Saturday, um, I had two boxes of blonde hair um, dye. They were the 03 um, Revlon. Yeah. And I was using that, and my friend has all a whole bunch of colors in their hair, so she was just kind of like, we should dye it purple. And I was just like, okay. <laughs> so um, we did that. And as you guys can see, you probably were like, yeah, your hair does look a little red. So that's that. Um, you can see it really, like, it's it's coming up. Like, there's been times where I've dyed it blonde, and you guys have barely been able to see it. And you might see, like, a little bit. It's more reddish, but it's actually a lot more purple. But even still, you can see that it's not, like, black or blonde. Um, so I had put in the two boxes of blonde on all of my hair, especially my roots, since obviously that was the new growth. And um, my ends seemed to be a little bit darker. And that sounds weird, like, only the middle part of my locks was blonde, but it actually didn't look bad. Um, so I put all the yellow in, let that sit, wash it out, use the conditioner that um, Revlon comes with and with me I used two packets but it's still not enough for my whole head but whatever so I did that um, and then this dye is Azor it's vegan dye and it's semi-permanent um, obviously because it's vegan I don't, I'm pretty sure no vegan dye is um, permanent put that in um, and it didn't really come out except for like on a few locks and like like this patch of hair right here and then like another lock was like very purple and I was like oh this is actually maybe it was on this side I don't know but I was like oh this is like the one lock even though I didn't even like I concentrated on this section right here to put all the purple in but this lock came out the most purple so the next morning when we woke up since it's vegan dye she was like whatever we can do this again it's not like it's gonna really hurt us so we put it on fully saturated this part and the day before I had rubbed it through some of my other locks but this time I like really just put it up here didn't worry about the other locks and it's funny because some of the other locks still got tied, dyed at the tip like this one is mostly black but if you really look the tip of it is like purplish so um but I put it here we let it sit for like a fairly long time like 30 minutes to an hour and then we blow dried it with our plastic caps on and then we rinsed it out and this is the results I got so it's really really purple um so I love it and a, a woman actually asked me at one of the food places on campus she was like did you have to bleach it I didn't bleach it I've never bleached my hair um I've lightened it with blonde dye but other than that like I've never bleached it um and this is vegan dye and it's like who would think that, that would work especially on locks but it does um only thing if you're gonna dye your hair a lot of people say the one thing they regret with their locks is dyeing it but if you're gonna dye it really 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 rinse it all the way out or go do it professionally um yeah okay so on to the style um so this is my little scarf that I wear at night I wear this and something else to cover up this part too but it looks silly so I took it off and this kind of looks cute so this is a style where like if you want to you can tie this scarf around your head or like a little bandana I was gonna do bandana yesterday but I didn't have anything that matched with it so I didn't of course gotta match with my bandana so um I don't know if some of you guys can recognize this, but 
in the front I got some lock knots going so basically I wanted to do a style that was gonna kind of like because my hair is purple so I was like let me do something to calm it down because I kind of I didn't have like an interview but I had to meet with people and like I, I went to dinner with some old folks and I was like if they see this purple hair they're going to freak out and have a heart attack or something so I was like let me do something to tone it down also my sister's getting married so I did this in order to like she wants me to test out different types of curls on locks so obviously this is well maybe not obvious but these are lock knots so of course they're going to give me a curl so um i kind of combined two styles that i've done before and that i've shown you guys before the first one <clears throat> which i'm just going to do it in this order because you guys can see it i actually did this part last so i sectioned off all my purple locks and it's so easy to do it now because they're all purple um but I end up using some not purple ones too in the back because I just wanted more of these. Because um, at first it was like a little bit smaller, maybe like that much. But I added probably like 20 or so locks to it. So I just did my lock knots. Um, <clears throat> and I'm going to show you guys how I did that because I'm, I'm going to take them out today. So hence why I'm making the video today. So when I take them out, I'll show you how to do one. Um, and that'll be a little further along in the video. So I did my lock knots here. And then the back is from um, the style that I stole from a lady. I'll put her name down. It's a Letty C inspired style. And I've done it before. Um, well, I've taken her style before, but I did it differently from how she does it. So once again, I did it differently from how she does it. But I have the same concept where I um, flat twisted all of my hair in the back, but I flat twisted it from the sides to the center. So as you can see, this flat twist goes around to the back. And it all goes like that. Flat twist, flat twist. And then in the center, it goes up. So basically all you do is you get a row on each side and then you flat twist it and then you get your rows. You want them to be even. I mean, you can not have them even, but I'd like them to be even. So there's a row like this going up my head, right? And then when I get to the end of my flat twist, I tie it off with a lock and then I put it in a ponytail holder like at the bottom of my head and then just kept putting them in there. And then when I finally got up to... Like, that's why you section this part off, because you need to know how far up your your flat twists are going to go. So I got up here and um, knew that that was going to be my last flat twist on both sides. And, you know, this one's here. Um, and then I just kind of basket weave the ends. So basket weaving is when you put one on top of the other. So I took the ends and I just did like this. All the way up so that they stayed down. Um, and then when I got to the top, that's when it got complicated. So I had a scrunchie. I got to the top. I put this in a scrunchie. And then I was like, don't really know what I'm going to do. So then I lock knotted all of this. Um, and I tried a few different things at first. But the best thing I got was, um, since I have so many locks, I put the ends into four different braids. They're kind of crappy braids. Like I have like rubber bands going through them because some locks are shorter and they like pop out. Um but I put them in four braids and then I took two on each side and I pinned them down. But I, I also it's it looks better because there's not like this awkward like hump in the back. But also it helps to like form this. So instead of this just kind of being like that is like it's pointed towards the front. And that's because if you can see here this little pin and you can see the rubber band. Um, this is part of this braid that's going back. So I basically took the two braids and just stuck them down here underneath the lock so that these locks were pushed up and forward. And then I pin it down and then like you see how that like is the border. Um, and the pins, like I literally just, they're just so, this hair is so thick that they're just like, the pin is just held in by the lock knot. It's not like necessarily like stuck into my boots or anything like that. Um, and I did the same thing on this side see um so there's my pin for my braid and you can see the braids coming down in there so that's all i did um and then my lock knots and then i was done so like i said i've been tying it up in the back to keep this tight and then tying it over here um uh, with my scarf and then i have like a satin cap that i just put on top of this just so that it's not out and loose Okay, and now I'm about to take my hair out and have the curls show you a lock knot, and then I'm done. Okay, so I'm back. As you can see, all lock knots out. It took me like two seconds. Um, yeah, so lock knots give you a very spirally type of curl. Oh, it's so cute. It's like a little freaking Cheeto. Um, yeah, so that's what that looks like. Um, 
So I have all my lock knots out. Sometimes it's hard. Yeah, I just found one. I would say it took me like two seconds, but I feel like there's still a few somewhere hiding away in there. And there are. So you just like they're really easy to take out. Um once I show you how to put them in, you'll you'll understand it all. Um, but you basically just unhook and pull. So how to put in a lock knot. So you have let's see, let's get a good one. Um you have this hair, right? And what you do is you take this. You can really see the purple in my hair right now. You kind of go halfway. You bend it up. And then you wrap it around the base of this hair. Ugh, there's so much hair in the way. I can barely even show you. So you're here. And then you wrap it around the base. You see how I'm wrapping it around? Except you start from the bottom and come here. But because, okay, there we go. So... I'm kind of here, right? Oh my god, actually though. <laughs> okay, here, I'm wrapping it around. And then this little hook is so that it's not going to look like this. It's going to be closer. So say you wrap it down to here. And this little hook is for the end of the lock. And you just tuck it in so that it's on this side. And then it stays. And then when you want to take it out, you untuck it from the hoop. And then you pull and ta-da! Now this lock knot is all messed up. Anyways, um, so that's that. Um, they're kind of crazy because I, I feel like you never really know exactly what they're gonna look like. But what's this? But um, I like them. They look really really nice on longer locks. Um, and like with styles like this, sometimes it's a little hard because you don't know exactly what they're gonna look like. Um, so, like, right now, I don't like this at all. <laughs> so you gotta kind of play with it. Um, see what you can do. Maybe put it to the front, put it off to one side, or whatever. Um, but they're definitely manageable. They're definitely a cute style. Um, I've only been able to keep mine in for, like, a week or so before, like, washing it or whatever, getting bored. But a lot of people keep them in for, like, weeks at a time. Um, like you see how I just put the two sides out. It took like five seconds. So there's a lot you can do with them. Um, yeah. And that's lock knots. Um, that's the end of the style. Uh, a few things you can do. Like I said, you can put a scarf on the back and tie it around the top. It's really cute. You can put a bandana and do the same thing. Um, you can also take a bonnet if you're kind of tired of this. Because there's a few times where I've looked and I've been like, this is... Well, I like this, but it's like the very flat twist back um, because I did this with like a lack of pins and you will need pins probably for this part. Um, it's not, sometimes it looks weird from how I look at it in the mirror, but I don't think it actually looks like that when you're like looking at me, but obviously I can't tell that. Um, but like sometimes I just want to put like a little bonnet on and cover up right here. So then I just have all the hair coming out of the bonnet and that's also really cute. And then you also have these on the sides so you don't have to worry about the bonnet covering up right here. So that's another style you can do um, if you just want to like cover up your hair in general or, you know, pretend like you went from this like regular style to like this extravagant one like take the bonnet off at night or something you know and then you had two styles in one day and you actually did nothing so yeah um and i'm done so these are lock knots and this is my style and i have no idea what i'm gonna call it but there will be a title so yes so thank you for watching i'll be back again with another hair video at some point in my life um yeah have a good weekend